Despite his untimely demise, Robert C. O'Brien garnered acclaim and accolades for his posthumously published novel, Z for Zachariah. Set in a desolate world ravaged by nuclear devastation, this captivating work of fiction revolves around a young teenage girl named Unburden, who finds herself alone on her family's farm, shielded from the radioactive aftermath by the farm's self-contained weather system. Bereft of her parents, who tragically disappeared during a search expedition, and, and her faithful dog, Pharaoh have managed to survive for a year, cultivating crops, living off the land, and believing herself to be the sole survivor on Earth. The significance of the title, Z for Zachariah, is unveiled through a poignant anecdote from Anne's past. In her children's book, A for Adam symbolized the first man, and naturally, she assumes that Zachariah represents the last. However, after a year of solitude on the farm, Anne's world is disrupted when she spots a mysterious man wearing what appears to be a hazmat suit entering her property. Gripped by fear, she retreats to a nearby cave, observing his actions from a safe distance. The man diligently searches the area and cleanses himself in the radiation-tainted river, fearing the stranger's potential danger, and refrains from warning him. Yet, when the man falls ill, she confronts the harsh reality of eternal solitude and extends a helping hand. Gradually, and learns that the man is John Loomis, a chemist, and the suit he wears is his own creation, an ostensibly protective garment designed to survive the nuclear catastrophe. However, as Loomis's health deteriorates, he begins to experience haunting flashbacks of a terrible deed he committed during the war. In a desperate struggle over the safe suit with his friend Edward, who sought his own family, Loomis tragically shot Edward dead. Privy to Loomis's disturbing hallucinations, and keeps the secret to herself while tending to his needs. As she cares for him and finds herself succumbing to fantasies of a potential union with Loomis. Over time, Loomis shows signs of recovery, but his temperament turns increasingly bitter and caustic. He transforms into a harsh critic, berating Ant for her farm management and prohibiting her from coming near his safe suit. Gradually, his demeanor evolves into a kill or be killed mentality, leading him to sneak into her room with the intention of kidnapping her. However, and awakens and thwarts his plan, swiftly seeking refuge in the safety of the cave. After allowing Loomis to cool off for a few days, she approaches him with a fair proposition. Both can coexist on the farm by living separately while sharing the produce and workload equally. Reluctantly, Loomis agrees, but gradually becomes more of a nuisance. He restricts Anne's access to farm equipment and supplies, and when she confronts him about it, he shoots her in the leg as she nears the house. Her wound becomes infected, plunging her into hallucinations of her own. Resuming his rampage, Loomis uses Anne's dog, Pharaoh, to track down her hiding place in the cave and sets fire to all her belongings. Fortunately, Anne manages to escape and realizes that John Loomis is completely deranged. Determined to leave the farm, she concocts a plan to steal his safe suit and venture into neighboring valleys in search of a safer community. Struggling with the idea of killing Pharaoh to prevent him from tracking her again, she ultimately cannot bring herself to harm him. Tragically, Pharaoh succumbs to radiation poisoning after wandering into the creek, leaving a note for Loomis as a distraction, and absconds with his safe suit. Loomis intercepts her on her way out, but before he can shoot her again, she reveals that she knows his dark secret, he killed Edward over the possession of the safe suit. Overwhelmed by remorse, he pleads for her to stay, desperate not to face solitude once more. However, and remains resolute in her decision. As a gesture of goodwill, Loomis informs and that he observed birds flying westward from the farm, suggesting the possibility of finding signs of life in that direction. Grateful for his suggestion, and expresses her willingness to send someone back for Loomis if she manages to find other survivors. The story concludes with a newfound amicability between them, as and ventures into the once-feared radioactive territory. Z for Zachariah has garnered numerous accolades, including the prestigious Edgar Award, for its compelling narrative and thought-provoking exploration of themes such as the clash between science and nature, power dynamics, and personal autonomy. Although Robert C. O'Brien passed away before completing the novel, his family utilized his notes to bring the story to fruition. Since then, the book has been adapted into several films. With its captivating storyline, Z for Zachariah has captivated mystery and science fiction enthusiasts for over three decades, earning glowing reviews and leaving a lasting impression. 
I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.